Next question. Do smaller built dudes have a niche for SOF world? For the SOF world? Soft world. Yeah. Special operations forces. Yeah. Check. Do you say soft? Yeah, you don't you say, say SOF. No, you don't okay. say SOF. Do smaller built dudes have a niche for the soft world? Any advantages, disadvantages with f- physical size or uh, of operators? Yeah. Well, special ops guys come in all shapes and sizes for sure. They are can be big giant monster guys and they can be little tiny skinny wiry guys and that's the way it is and they're all needed Mm. in in the special operations community you know if you look at your average point man your average point man is a wiry light guy that's quick and nimble and you look at your average machine gunner he's a big hoss of a dude that can tote around a bunch of weight but also there's a bunch of skinny little guys that are carrying a machine gun. There's some big guys that walk point, and that's the way it is. So is there is there a niche for certain body types? Yeah, I mean, there is. If you're a big guy, you, you should carry something big like a, like a machine gun. If you're a, a small guy, you should try and be in a situation where you're carrying a little bit of a lighter load, like a point man or a rear security dude. But... Both do both, and there's a bunch of other. I mean, you know, you look at a radio man. Radio man's got to carry a ton of weight too. So, yeah, there's no real, there's no real advantage or disadvantage. I would say you don't want to be that big, and you don't want to be that small. Mm. But if you are, get some. <laughs> you know, yeah. get some. There's just the way it is. There's gonna be things. There's gonna be things that are way harder for a bigger guy. Mm-hmm. In the SEAL teams and in special operations and there's gonna be things that are harder for a smaller guy and that's the way it is mm-hmm. so You know if you've got to do submarine lockouts and you're a big guy You're gonna be in a little escape trunk a little six-foot Sphere with a bunch of gear in there. It's not uh-huh. fun to be a big giant guy at that point. No and When you get to the beach after you lock out of the submarine and you got to carry a 55 horsepower motor across the beach into a cache site and you're you weigh 143 pounds that's not going to be fun for you mm. you want that big 260 pounder to come over and throw that motor on his shoulder and carry it into position so that's why you have everything at a seal platoon that's why diversity is good mm. in terms of body styles